on the Starship Show this week. As the funding from Kickstarter comes through, Fleetyard Studios begins the recruitment process needed to take the Starship Simulator project forward. Following the conclusion of the hugely successful Kickstarter campaign for the game that saw the target of £65,000 eventually smash through £400,000 by the time it was finished, co-founder of Fleet Yard Studios Dan Govier confirmed on a livestream this week that the funds finally became available to them after they'd been released by Kickstarter themselves. Allowing for Kickstarters cut and UK taxes etc the total funds received by Fleet Yard is in the order of £364,000. Now that money is secured and in Fleet Yard's hands they can now put it to work on the Starship Simulator project directly which up until this point has been solely completed by just Dan and Claire. That being the case then Dan further confirmed on the livestream last Sunday that drum roll please, not only has the recruitment process to bring in the extra talent onto the project already begun in earnest but that at least one individual who will be helping with QA testing has already been contracted. At the time of the broadcast 3 other roles were either seeking suitable candidates or contracts for already sourced candidates were being hammered out. In the case of the former a web developer is being sought to handle some of the more complex requirements for Starship Simulator's web portal and a spaceship centric conceptual artist is being sought who will be able to work with the two top tiers of Kickstarter backer who get to design their own shuttlecraft and starships for eventual implementation in the game. Fleet Yard is however as you'd imagine looking for more traditional Unreal development skills as well and they are apparently already in discussions with an Unreal developer who they have worked with before on the Stage 9 project. If you're unfamiliar with Stage 9 it was a free to download recreation of the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D as featured in Star Trek The Next Generation that Dan and Claire were previously involved in. The project was unfortunately shut down by CBS in September of 2018 after a cease and desist order was received from CBS who own the Star Trek license. Following the shutdown of the Stage 9 project the team went on to form Messy Desk Interactive who began a similar virtual starship project based around the TV show The Orville. The holders of the Orville license were somewhat more inclusive in their handling of the Messy Desk project however and it is to this day still available to download on Steam and you can very much see the early DNA of Starship Simulator in that project. The hire sounds like an obvious move, the skill set and Starship specific experience is clearly already there and there is also a huge advantage that an established working relationship brings when it comes to communication and understanding design philosophy and, as you can imagine, this all bodes well for the growth of the project in the very near future. Did you ever get the chance to sample the Stage 9 project? Have you tried the Orville interactive fan experience or will you now be trying it to see what Fleet Yard and Messy Desk have achieved in the past? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to directly support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join us on Patreon. That's it for now. Clear all moorings, thrusters to one quarter, helm, take us out. 